Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's like 6.30 in the morning on race day, it's Sunday. Got here yesterday, we got to pre-ride the track on our e-bikes. I stuck them in the van because Braxton's the first one to race. We've got a busy day. We've got Braxton at 8 a.m., I've got Caden at like 9.15, and then I race at 11. So there's like three races right in a row. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's funny having uh, kids in both races now. So I've got a, a really busy morning ahead of me. So Braxton's up first on his 85, and then Caden is gonna race his little uh, DRZ 70. It's funny, the class is he had to go back to a 70 for this weekend. He couldn't race the 110 uh, in the class I wanted to put him in, so, or in the race. So, and then I'm going to ride my dad's 430. I did not put hand guards on it. I wanted to, but shop got really busy. At least it has a new tire, so I'm excited about that. I don't know if I'm going to film anything during the races because the, I don't, I used to wear GoPros. You see it ripped off the helmet, and I know the AMA has got some different rules now. And I don't want to get in trouble, so I probably won't film anything other than what I can get on my phone as the kids go by. So, after each race, we'll try to give you an update. If not, we'll catch you guys at the end of the day. Let's go, buddy. Come on, buddy, you gotta go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, buddy, I'll let it finish, dude. Go, go, go. When he picks that flag up. Go, buddy, go. Keep going, Jay. Go, buddy, go, go, go. to ride today it was so slippery um, and like massive rock so this 430 was a lot to hang on to for sure it was crazy um, I'm super sore and uh, I would have chosen a beta 300 two-stroke and probably a way softer tire and probably I should have ridden a couple more times but I finished the race it was pretty cool it helped me out at the end both Mark and Danny caught me and passed me I had like five miles to go and it like helped me <laughs> finish and I was battling the whole race with this guy. I don't know what row he was on, but I beat him. It was, uh, he would catch me and then I would catch him. We played cat and mouse the whole time. So it was, it was kind of cool. He kind of crashed at the end and I'm like, four miles to go. I'm like, I can't let him catch me. So it was pretty fun. I did what I could to the end. So um, we'll do more wrap up here in a little bit. All right, good morning. So yesterday at the end of the day, we were driving home and I tried to shoot a little video for you guys talking about how the race went and it thought it was really good and then as we got home i had no noise in the background and there was so much van noise it was horrible i couldn't so i didn't want to make you guys listen to road noise so lesson learned i always have to use these mics and hopefully it's not bad right now but it's beautiful outside so let's recap the race it was a great weekend the weather was phenomenal uh first up was braxton he raced the 85 7 to 11 class he had a pretty okay start um, so keep in mind we haven't raced for like two years the wife and I are building a house and I've never mentioned that on the channel my dad and I are actually doing all the construction ourselves so and I'll put a picture here to show you what we're doing um, but what we're what's with Braxton is it's uh, he only raced one time last year so it's uh, I want to keep him in the loop so that way next year we can get back to the races full time so uh, he had a pretty good start like seventh place and then he was battling with a little guy and he went down in a corner, uh, or actually on the track somewhere, and he hit his hip really good. It's all black and blue this morning. And some guy had to come help him pick his bike back up out of the weeds and get it back up on the trail. So he lost like five or six minutes, and he actually came back to 11th. His last two laps were really good. I'm proud of him. So he's excited to see the end of the race, how it went, even though the front of part of the race didn't go good. But he didn't quit, and that was really important to me. Uh, and it's funny because like they got Braxton first thing and then they got Caden and then me. So like S Sundays are really busy with all three of us racing right in a row. Uh, next race up was Caden on his DRZ 70. 
It was his like second race ever, so I was pretty proud of him. He did a very good job, rode the whole thing, and I think he finished fourth in his class on the 70. He really likes his 110, but he couldn't ride the 110 because of the class structure. So he rode the 70, and then I raced uh, with the guys in the adult class. I rode my dad's 430, this bike right here. It was definitely the wrong bike for the track. Um, super rooty in areas because it's been raced at a lot of times. And also there's a lot of big rocks and it rained all week so it kind of had some mud holes. Actually the bike's not too muddy. This is how it came home. But um, it was so slippery. And I, if it would have rained during the race that would have been miserable. It would have been uh, really hard to ride this bike. You'd be, you'd be like standing up in second gear going through the woods and then if you like blip the throttle a little because you're hitting rollers this bike would just take off on you so um i haven't ridden a 430 in a couple years so to get back on it was was fun i didn't really even pre-ride it i rode it one day which we showed on the channel so hopped on it rode it i really chose the wrong tire and i have way too much tire pressure in it like it, it's a complete rock it doesn't move that's my fault my dad likes this tire and this is his bike so i didn't want to like change it twice so i'm like yeah i'll just run it but I would have really liked a softer compound and probably a moose bib, especially in those conditions. So definitely wouldn't have been the funnest bike for the day, but I had a great time riding. To be back at the races, I was smiling. The track was pretty flowy in sections and I loved it. So I also wish um, I was always between first and second gear a lot. And I really wanted, I would have wanted to be in second. So I think what I would have done is gone up one tooth in the rear. And that way I can kind of ride second gear sooner and stay in second. So those are some of the things that I would have liked to do. Um, oh, and this is my first race ever with no hand guards, and I'm so proud of myself. I have all my fingers still. I didn't blow anything apart. I love wraparound hand guards because as I get tired, I'll use them against the tree if I'm leaning the wrong way. So very proud of myself. Was able to ride for two hours and 14 minutes and not blow my hands apart. So excited about that. And then uh, Danny did really good. He did double A. He was eighth place. Uh, Mark was vet double A, and he got second place. And then Jared Fortner runs Vet A now, and he ran out of gas, and he actually filled up, but still ran out of gas. He has a beta two-stroke 300, and so we need to get him a bigger gas tank. Some guy had his chainsaw mix uh, back at his UTV for, like, cutting the trails out. He, like, ran back, got his gas mix, gave it to Jared, so uh, Jared's result was different but it's always cool at the races the stories like yeah i had some guy i've got still chainsaw mixed gas in my bike so that's pretty cool um so news and notes about the 24-hour race is i'm going to struggle to ride a 125 at that track it is uh the four strokes you can kind of chug along and just it'll get you up wherever you are but i am 200 pounds and riding a 125 up some of those hills and those slippery turns is going to be tough so I'm not sure. I need to ride a lot more. I want to make sure we do good as a team. I want to, the guys are so fast. I'm not worried about them. They can stand up and go and they love 125s, but I need to ride a 125 more. So the next three weeks, I'm going to spend more time. I actually just brought in a used 2020 125 race edition, brought it in on trade. I'll show a picture of that here. It's in the building, really clean bike. And I'm going to so excited to have a spare bike for the 24 hour race. So we're gonna have our main 2023 that we're gonna race, and then we're gonna have this 2020 as a backup bike. So I'm not gonna go all the way there, have something happen at 10 hours in and be done. We'll keep riding with a second bike. So I'm gonna probably practice ride that bike to get the feeling of a 125, because this thing I just hopped on and raced it and it wasn't the best idea. So um, I'm actually pumped, I don't have any blisters. I feel pretty good today. Braxton's hip is pretty sore, but just a race weekend. Thank you guys for following along. I plan on doing a lot more of this kind of stuff. We have some really cool videos planned coming up. We're going to do some night riding. So we got some different headlights and helmet light accessories we're going to try out. And we're just going to get ready for the races. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the ride.